Hello, I'm Mike Brown, Creative Director at Playground Games, and today we're going to take a look at some of the new accessibility settings in Forza Horizon 5. Right from the start of the game, players are able to hit X and jump into the accessibility menu. From here, you can tune the accessibility settings to your liking. This new option allows you to disable moving backgrounds, removing distractions from the image so you can focus on the important information. This setting allows you to adjust the time that notifications appear on screen, giving you longer to digest and comprehend that information. We now have separate colorblind settings. You can choose this to apply a filter to all of the game visuals. As you can see here, as it applies to the car and the environment, but it doesn't affect the game UI. All of the icons remain the same color. Now you may want to keep the game visuals looking their natural colors, but then only apply those colorblind settings to the menu and UI, things where icon colors might be important. Therefore, you can select this setting, and this will leave the game visuals in their natural colors, but it will affect the game UI. You can see here some of the map icons have changed color to allow for better legibility for colorblind players. This setting applies high contrast mode to the game's UI, making it much easier to read text on all of our different colored backgrounds. You can see it at the top of the screen there, where my car's name is now easier to read, and you can see it has applied a background to this event name here. This means that that white text doesn't get lost on light colored backgrounds. This setting allows players to adjust the speed of the game's physics engine. With this setting enabled, the entire game engine runs at whatever speed the player has selected. In this instance, I've chosen to run it at 80%. The game's UI is still fast and responsive, but as soon as I'm in gameplay, everything is slowed down and I have a little bit more time to react to the information on screen and make my decisions. By default, Forza is obviously a game designed to be played at high speed, sometimes hundreds of miles an hour. With this setting enabled, it just gives players that little bit more time to read what's happening in front of them and choose what they're going to do. Here you see I'm really able to stick to that driving line because I've just got that little bit more control, a little bit more time to think about what I'm going to be doing. Next up, we're going to take a look at our new difficulty setting. It's called Tourist. This is for those players who might be brand new to driving games or have any other difficulties with competing against the game's AI drivers. You can see straight away that it actually starts my grid position right at the top. So I can just go into the lead right from the start. I don't have to fight my way through the pack. Now, a novice player, they might find that they accidentally miss a checkpoint like this. And again, maybe they, as a novice, don't realize that they could hit rewind. And now, I'm several hundred meters behind the pack. But with tourist difficulty enabled, those drivers will really slow to a crawl and basically wait for me to catch up. They're probably only going a few miles an hour at the moment. And as I get closer to them, they pick up the pace a little bit and allow me to rejoin the pack. But with tourist difficulty, they do leave lots of room so that I can still pick my way through and still feel like I'm having a fun and engaging racing experience. And in an update that will be coming shortly after launch, players will be able to enable a sign language interpreter for all of the game's cutscenes. They can choose to turn this on for both ASL and BSL. Horizon and Mexico are family. Welcome to your new home. 